astral projection is what you will be able to do if you simply apply what I'm going to share with you. Because this method worked for myself and to everyone to whom I have shared this method, they succeeded. In fact, there is two types of people. Not everyone succeeded, but the other half don't really count. And the reason is because one of the half of the people, they do it one times a week. They try there and there. They don't really have any strong desire. But everyone from the other side who has been testing, experiencing the method every night when they go to sleep to attempt an astral projection, guess what? They all succeeded. So I'm going to share with you this simple method. In fact, it is so simple that some people even disbelieve it. Because we are used that people tell you to energetically roll your body to the side, try to rock your body from the front to the back until you have an astral projection. Those are all methods that are trying to force something to happen. But the thing is, astral projection, it happened every night already. It is only because at the moment that your body and your mind fall asleep, you are not conscious. This is why it does not happen to you consciously. But if you can somehow just allow yourself to remain awake, fully present when the body and the mind fall asleep, if you are still awake at this very moment, the door open and it is your first astral projection. It is even said that one who mastered the state of Turiya master death. And the state of Turiya is exactly what I said. It is when your body and your mind fall asleep, but you are still awake. So if you want to do this, the first thing that you will need is called Asan. The second is called Pranam. And the third, Samadhi. The first one, Asan, is to fully master a position. And what does it mean to master a position? It simply means that you are able to stay totally still, immobile, to a certain point that you no more feel your body. And this does not take great meditativeness skill. You don't have to be a yogi, a Buddha. If you really just stay still and that's it, no matter how you feel, if you just stay still after a couple of minutes, all body feeling moves away. The thing is you have to accept to deal with the uncomfortability, with the urge that you need to move. You just have to be ready to deal with it and allow it to be. I say deal, but you have nothing to do about it if you just be. You do not move, you do not succumb. After a couple of minutes, all the feeling that make you think that you have to move is gone. Suddenly, your body is relaxed. Suddenly, you don't even feel your body anymore. So this is how you master asan, the position. It's really just to be immobile and it's a choice to be immobile regardless of how you feel. You can decide, I'm not going to move. And for the second thing, pranam. Pranam is the breath. When you are breathing really slowly, richly in and richly out from your nose, it changed the way that your mind operates. Because if you think about it, when you have stress, you hyperventilate. When you're mad, you breathe a certain way. When you're sad, your breathing is all broken. And similarly, when your breathing is very slow and steady, you become meditative. The mind stops to think endlessly. So just by using pranam, which is to breathe this way, it is simple. You don't have to start thinking how many seconds shall I inhale, how many seconds shall I exhale, and go on thinking about how to be perfect about it. Just breathe as slow as you can. And not even by consciously controlling the breath. If you try, you can even try it right now, if you close your eyes, and you start to just watch your breath. Just the action of watching automatically change the quality of your breath. It make it deeper and slower so simply by using asan and pranam the third that i spoke about the third step which is samadhi samadhi happened by itself 
Because if you just don't move, you don't feel your body anymore. You breathe properly, slowly. Samadhi is the outcome. Samadhi is the fruit of doing so. And that is all. You just lay in your bed. You do exactly what I explained. And you wait as a witness. Feeling whatever there is to feel. Seeing whatever there is to see. But you have no expectation. You're not trying to do anything at all. You just wait as a witness until your body and your mind fall asleep. Many things will occur. Healing will occur. Enlightenment can occur. Spiritual evolution, spiritual download. But what matters the most for this video at least is astral projection will happen for you. By itself, naturally. Because every night it happens. All that is missing is your awareness, your presence when the body and mind fall asleep. So if you can just do asana and pranam, which create samadhi, and wait, astral projection happen. It may take you just one try to succeed. It may take many days, many weeks, many months. It's different for everyone. But all that I can tell you for sure is that it just depends on your willpower and your desire to make it happen. And if you want to know more about this phenomenon of astral projection, how to use your astral power, what you should do and what you should not do, how food affects your ability to astral project and more information like this, in the caption below, there is a free ebook that is waiting for you. It is Astral Projection Made Easy. And I wrote it to make sure that everyone can astral project because it is our birthright. It is so fun and it opens your consciousness so deeply that if everyone will just astral project, we will already be in a world where we are more evolved. So I think it is time to give it back into your hand without even trying to take your money, take a couple of hundred of thousand. I wrote the whole book for free and I shared with you this whole technique for free. So it is now for you to just let it go and miss the opportunity to experience something amazing in a world that you didn't even know existed experientially. Or you can take those words seriously. Right now, today, tonight, you perform the method. Tomorrow night, after tomorrow's night, every night is an opportunity to practice the skills. And if you do it daily, I guarantee you will make it. I'm Simon, and together we grow spiritually beyond pretending. Hare Krishna.